Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel Power Query tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to count the number of male and female in an Excel sheet using a Power Query. I will show you two methods. One is the using the function formula, county formula on Excel sheet. And also I will show you the second method using the Power Query to count the male and female. So let's start the tutorial. Now let's check the final output of our application to count the male and females. The above one, this one, I have used the formula, county formula to count male and female. And below, I have used this power query. This is a power query rows. Now I'm adding a new row is um, Karthik. Karthik is male. When I click enter, notice here the male is 6 here, but here the male is not updated because the Power Query data, you need to update to refresh all. See here we got male is 6. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new blank workbook and here we got our new workbook. The workbook name is a book one. Now in sheet 1, I am adding some student names here, student name and gender. And gender, name is a Charan and gender is the male, Vijay is the male, um, Lalita is female and uh, Rajini, she is female, Paul is male. And then is male. Now, if you notice here in B column, we got the gender here. Now, my aim is I want to count how many males and females are there in this student list. For that, I'm using two methods. One is the normal count if condition on Excel sheet, and the second method I will show you how to implement in Power Query to get the male and to count the male and female uh, genders. So first here I'm adding male and female, male and female. The formula is is equals to count if, count if Notice the count if take two parameters. One is the range. What is the range here? I'm adding, I'm selecting the whole B column, the complete B column, comma, and the criteria. What is criteria? Is male. Notice that we got four here. One, two, three, four. We got four males there. Again, copy this one instead of writing the same formula. I'm adding here female. Female. See so here we got two females here. Now I'm adding Peter is male. Now once I click, now we have one, two, three, four, five males are there. Here notice we got five males. Let's add one more student name Rose. Rose is female. See so here we got three females. Now if you notice here. Um, now, if you change from male to female, the Paul I'm changing to male to female. Notice here, now we got male is 4, female is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 males and 4 females. This is how we use using count if condition to count the male and females. Now, again, replace the Paul to male. Enter. Again, we got male count, um, we got 5 males and 3 females. Now the second method using the power query. So this is the power query. Here yeah, I want to load the data to count the number of males and females using a power query functional. Now first in order to create a power query go to data. Under data notice get and transform from table. Click that one. We need to convert this list into a table first. So select the range. I have selected the range. My table has headers, student name and gender are the, gender are the uh, headers. I have selected that one, click OK. Once I click OK, 
it redirected to the query editor which is a power query editor now what i'm doing go to transform here the second the third option file home transform click the transform and group by select the group by now i need to count gender new count count gender count rows that's it click okay the operation and selecting we have plenty of options here but i'm counting rows only okay so here we got male and female got five and three now we need to load this data the power query table data on our excel sheet for that again go to home close and load to i'm selecting the table we have selected the table and existing worksheet and i want to display results here d10 click ok load so here we got gender and count gender we got male 5 and female 3 now let's check the final output of our application to count the male and females the above one this one i have used the formula county formula to count male and female and below i have used this power query this is a power query rows now i'm adding a new row is um, Karthik, Karthik is male. When I click enter, notice here the male is 6 here, but here the male is not updated because the power query data you need to update to refresh all. See here we got male is 6. If I enter uh, Vijaya, she is female, female, enter. Now we got four females, refresh all and power query got also four females. If I change to Karthik male to female, we got five females in our list of table and five males. Refresh all to update the power query table. See so here we got male is five, female is five. Now let's convert Karthik from female to male. Enter. Again, we got back male is 6 and female is 4. Refresh all to update the power query results. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to count the genders male and female from an Excel sheet using the count if method. And I have used the power query functionality also. Two methods I have shown. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe, share and leave your valuable comment. We will catch you in my next video tutorial.